Thank you for joining us today for another video about ASG Pro JCL and the Eclipse plugin. ASG Pro JCL is the premier JCL management solution from ASG Technologies. Let's jump right in. Today I'll be giving you a demo about remote scanning. In a previous video, we talked about remote scanning, but we didn't demonstrate it. Today I'd like to do that from IBM ZOS Explorer, which is the foundation of IBM IDZ. The Eclipse plugin is compatible with IDZ, also with BMC CompuWare Topaz Workbench, and with the vanilla Eclipse interface. So as a developer of JCL, I'm working here on a simple JCL file, and first I'm going to test it on my local system to prove that everything's working fine. And I got a full scan result with no problem, so that's good, everything's running fine. But not so fast. We want to make sure that this works well in a remote system as well. So take for example that I'm on a development system and I want to scan into a test environment or production environment. I'm going to do that here by selecting it from a remote system. And these are pulled from the mainframe as defined remote systems that are allowed to be scanned from this development system. And when I scan I need to give my remote credentials And here we see I have found two problems. The error we have is that sysb is not found in this data set. Well, what does that mean to me as a developer? Well, there's a big problem there. I hard-coded the system name, and that's a big no-no. We know variables should be everywhere. So instead of hard-coding sysb, we're going to put the variable for the sysname in there. And let's try that again. I'm going to close the problems view so we have a clean start and scan remotely again. This time I got a clean listing. So now we know this file works remotely. Let's try it again one more time locally. We'll clear this so we know we have a clean listing. scanning locally and we know it should be clean because we used a variable. This is good. So now I know I'm confident this is going to work in my current system and in the remote system. This saves a lot of time so before I ever promote this JCL into that other environment I know that it's good. So I'm going to save that change and we have a clean JCL that we can promote to the next environment. Thanks for watching.